Okay, okay. Yeah, down in Murray, so we're going down there. How long, how long has the American Beauty Academy Because we was looking online, we saw the Barber School, mm-hmm. Paul Mitchell, mm-hmm. and then the American Beauty College. American Beauty College, yeah. Okay. It's been around for quite some time now. But they were based out of Provo. You know what I mean? They were based out of Provo, What's Utah. Provo? Provo, Utah. Oh, that's, okay. It's uh, further south. Now, I mean, I guess you're just great to ask since you're actually an instructor. Yeah. What are the rules and requirements to get licensed in Utah? Oh, man. First of all, you got to get your barber hours. How many hours you got to get? A uh, thousand. You got a thousand barber hours you got to do to complete okay. the barber's course. Um, okay. After completion, you receive the certification and you can go into a barber shop. Now, do you have to take a state board test? Yep. You got to take your back. Yep. You got to take your state board test. Uh-huh. Uh, you gotta pass above uh, 80%. You gotta do an 80%? 80%? Yeah, 80%. 80? 80? It's 70. It's 70 on the East Coast, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, here you go. 80, man. Dang. Get license. Come to a shop. You know what I mean? Now, when you get your license as a barber, can you immediately open up your own barber shop and cut by yourself? Right, as soon as you get your barber's license? Yeah. Yes, you can. Okay. So it's clientele, but why would you want to do that? Well, in North Carolina, you got to be an apprentice oh, really? before, before you you, you, you open up a shop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so you go to the board just to be allowed to become an apprentice. Wow. So you pass the state board, then you're an apprentice. So it's like a journey. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, but here you do it and you're out. Yep. Okay. Okay. Right okay. okay. You can do you want to do. What's your greatest piece of advice to you? You yeah. Are, you already dealing yeah. with students. Yeah. And you already see a lot of the challenges that they deal with. Mm-hmm. If you can give some advice to our students, you know, what would be that great piece of wisdom you would give to them? Um, stay consistent. Uh, repetition. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Come late. Never come late. <laughs> always, always be the first one. To okay. Be the last one to leave. Good work ethic. You know what I mean? Great work ethic. Um, always be learning. Always be wanting to share your wisdom. Always be wanting to grow. You know, um, in this industry, you're always gonna be learning. You know, so nobody's not about being the best. You know, it's about how much love you can spread and how you can grow all together. You know, and I think I think that's so important, man, because love what you just said. And the crazy thing is, when we ask barbers a lot. It, words of advice is always things like that. It's never make sure you got the best fades. Make Correct. sure you got. It's like no, Correct. you gotta be consistent, Correct. man. And it's Correct. good to hear that. The business, Definitely. The business side of it, the strength and growth and everybody, a team, a unit. You know what I mean? And that's our roots. You know what I mean? Yeah. How long you had the shop? Uh, we just had our one year anniversary. Oh. Wow. Uh, two months ago. So yeah. So we're one year, two months now. In the mix, man, and having a blast doing it. You know? <laughs> Yeah, Whose idea was that YouTube nice. video? Uh, well, it was mine, but uh, we also we partnered up with a guy named Dave uh, uh-huh. from Bond Studios. Okay. Um, he came in. Shout out. The whole team and shot it, and it turned out way better. Than I was like, what are y'all man. looking at, man? Yeah, I was like, that was yeah, dope. I, I was like, yo. I was, I was surprised, too. Yeah, so it was good. All the technology. Yeah. But, yeah, that's important. You, too. It's important. Social Absolutely. media, you know, yeah. that's one thing I will press about, Barbara. Social media, I always stay up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, what's the average price of a haircut um, around here? Uh, average price of a haircut, fifteen dollars basic haircut. Okay. Uh, anything which you get into tapering, you know what I mean, designs. Yeah. Uh, parts, you know what I mean. Then we jump up to twenty-two. Okay. Uh, so nothing steep, you know what I mean. It's workable. Now, are there a lot of like curly-haired clients? In Utah, it's not all straight here? No. Okay. No, it's crazy. It's, uh, <laughs> actually, it's picked up. You okay. I mean, it's picked up out here a lot. Okay. Um, you got, it's like fine brothers like yourself, you know what I mean? You guys come from out of state. This is a traveling place. A lot of people yeah. that are a business. You yeah. Know I mean, they come out and travel here. Yeah. So we meet a diverse crowd, especially right here in the heart of the city. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? It's not like yeah. we're on the outskirts. We're right in the heart of the city, man. So... Are y'all the only Everybody's barbershop here. like really in the heart? Yeah. Well, uh, we got Ray's Barbershop that's located right downtown. Okay. They cater to a different crowd. Okay. Awesome barbershop. Phenomenal barbershop. Okay. Um, but yeah, they cater to a different crowd. And then you got another level barbershop and we cater to a different crowd. Yeah. You know, so we do a lot of uh, politics in between yeah. shops, you know what I mean? And that yeah. And it's people, you know, so it's good. Good barbershop. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Is it typically now? Is it generally booth rental here or a commission or in the different barbershops around? Um, I tell the barbers like this when they come in. I start them usually start them off on a, a commission base, seven to thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, get your clientele good. You yeah. know what I mean? And it's, it's it's my job as a business owner and as a as a uh, part of the barber family yeah. to want them to reach their highest potential. You know what I mean? So I tell them like this: if any way possible, you can. Uh, Get your clientele up, yep. and then switch the movement because yeah, you will receive yeah. more money that yeah. way. You know, and go get your business license. Yeah. Encourage you guys to do. Wow. Um, you can then start producing for yourself because yeah. every barber is dreaming to have their own barbershop. But you okay. have to learn how to work if you feel you can actually do it. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. So that's how progressive yeah. is the uh, is the barber board here in Utah? Because you know we we deal with a lot of challenges in North Carolina. Mm-hmm. A lot of times you get a lot of the board members who are out of touch. They like Correct. 90 years old yeah. and never been yeah. in a barbershop. And the crafts have changed. Um, well, the barbering community here is growing. Um, it's nothing like on the West Coast like where I'm from, yeah. California. Okay. You know what I mean? The big city. Yeah. Chicago, New yeah. York, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I don't know how it is where you guys are at, but it's growing. It's a little bit behind, you know, yep. but that's yep. what we're here for. You yeah, know, exactly. we're from out of town, you know what yep. I mean? And we bring our flavor here to something. Yep. Yep. It's the newness, you yep. know. So, that's what we're doing. So it's growing, but it's growing fast. That's cool. It's growing real cool. fast. Cool. Yeah. These guys pay a lot of attention to what they do. Yeah, yeah. man. I see, I see them tightening up the cuts yeah. early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now, now, what's your selection process like? Because I'm sure you get it all the yeah. time. The students say, I want to, you got a chair open. Shop, yeah. <laughs> so what's your selection process in looking at, you know, those potential barbers for your shop? Uh, to me, it's all about somebody that wants to learn and yeah. grow. You know yeah. what I mean? With the barbers that are around them, number one, if they're not the best barber, you can come in and learn. Yeah. So my basic interview is pretty much just how I feel, you know, yeah. based of off of communication, how we can talk, you yeah. know what I mean? How, how, the, how the barbers that have been here helping this place grow yep. receive you, you know what I mean? Yeah, they look at you to make sure it's a good team. It's a team yeah. thing, you know? Yeah. And that's pretty yeah. much it. Yeah, yeah. 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 skills can always grow. Yeah. yeah. It's good. It's good. Um, is there anything that you can't do as a barber in Utah or all the... Um... Uh, color. You can't do color. So cosmetology, okay. pretty okay. sure. I don't. Is it the same out there? We can do. Hey, oh, you can. Hey, yeah. real quick. Yeah. Basically, getting dry there. Good, good. You good? I want to make sure you're straight. Yeah. So you say you can't do what? Uh, you can't do color. You can't do color. No, you can't do color. Okay. How many hours do you guys have? It's uh, 15, 28. Why the 28? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. 15, 20, but it's like, it's, it says thousand years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you guys are pretty much at the Cosmo hours out here. But yeah. cosmetology, they can do color out here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Do color. okay. Is this the board? Does the board come around and yeah, inspect? They do. They do. The board come around? They do okay. come around, man. Make sure you got all your certificates up. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, up to date, not expired. Yep. You know, make sure they're on uh, display. Yeah. You know, make sure all that stuff is on display for your clients and the board. Some fines. They have. Yeah. Uh, they fine you yeah. out here? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a lot of people trying to cut without license? Uh, yeah, you got that. Yeah, okay. they come along. Uh, people always ask, "Can I just cut in your shop? I'm getting ready to take my." I'm right, getting right, ready. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Get it next month. Yep. It's the same yeah. all the way out of Utah. <laughs> yeah, and as much as I want to be like, yeah, you right. know, I can't. Right. So, yeah. Right. This right. way, you know, because you don't want to uh, forfeit your business. That's yeah. Right. Making the. Uh, uh, Friendship yeah, so, yeah. So, what's next for you, man? Uh, next, grow this. Uh, we got a hair product. We got our own hair product called Royal Palms Pomade. And just help grow that. Okay. You know what I mean? And grow this. Open up another barbershop uh, within the next year. And that's it. Any room? Any room out, for any know, more schools? More jobs. Um, well, I would like to. This school isn't uh, my school. I'm actually helping somebody out that I used to actually work for, which is awesome, you know. Okay. He had the chance of opening up his school. Okay. But uh, in the near future, yes, I would love to open up a school. That's probably the, the Is there room for another school here? Yeah, there is. In, in Salt Lake? Yeah. Yeah. Do people live in Salt Lake mm-hmm. that go to school, or does everybody live outside of Salt Lake? No, they live in Salt Lake and outside of Salt Lake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And the closest one is... The, what was the name of that town? The Barber Porch. Uh, um, yeah, where is it? What's it? Murray. Murray, yeah, yeah. 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 That's just about 20 minutes away. Yeah, about 20, 20, yeah, about 20 minutes away. Wow. Uh, but yeah. 
There's a good niche for another bunch. <laughs> got you. <laughs> got you. Got you. Appreciate your insight, yeah. your wisdom, yeah, man. man. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah. Peace and love. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Uh, I appreciate it. Love, man.